larger, here it is. So this right here represents the glomerular capillaries. And what does this represent right here? The parietal layer of the glomerular capsule. And what does the beige color represent? The uh, visceral layer of the Bowman's capsule. And then right as all of that filtrate collects in here, it leaves in this tubule that becomes proxim that becomes convoluted, is close by, and so it's called the proximal convoluted tubule. And then this structure right here is called the afferent, with an A, like an apple, A and apple, afferent arteriole. This is going to be the structure that's going to take blood to the capillaries. Remember how arterioles break up into capillaries? So here it is. This is them right here. And then it continues on as this efferent arteriole. And then this efferent arteriole is going to become your peritubular capillaries and vasorectal that we're going to look at in a moment. Okay. So um, I, uh, right here, if we look, follow this structure right here, a little bit hard to see. This right here is the glomerular capillaries. Can you see the parietal layer of Bowman's capsule around it? So what would this be right here? Convoluted. Proximal convoluted tubule, and then this loop, loop of Henle or nephron loop, and then this right here, distal convoluted tubule, and then the straight, straight structure going down, leading into this minor cadence, is the collecting duct or collecting tubule. What would this be right here? This would be the nephron loop, and then if we follow uh, this one over here, identify this structure. Proximal, proximal convoluted tubule, nephron loop, and then over here, distal convoluted tubule, and then this, collecting duct. Okay, so not too bad, right? And this one right here, afferent arteriole, and this one over here, efferent.